Welcome, welcome, and this here is Chloe, Chloe Shalom, and today we're going to do a different video that we haven't done yet. I am going to show you two different um, hairstyles for younger girls. I mean, I could also do it <laughs> on my head if I'd want to, but it'd look a little funny maybe, um, but I have a little hairstyle that I sometimes do for her that I think is so cute. It just looks so good on her, and then I'll also do one with Avalon which is somewhat similar but yet different. And then after I do their hairstyles, I'm also gonna do a lemongrass unboxing. And that will be towards the end of the video. And if you don't wanna watch that, you don't have to. But I'm going, Lemongrass is a clean and healthy skincare company. And I just have placed an order and I got a pretty big order. And I can't wait to unbox it. I haven't seen it yet. So I wanna unbox it in front of you. <laughs> bless you and I'll tell you um, what each product is and what it's used for if you want to stay for that but let's get started and what you will need is like two little rubber bands like this and I have a whole case of them I get them on Amazon they look like this and then you will need some bobby pins I have a few bobby pins here and then if you like you can have like two little hair ribbons like little flowers like I have here. And I think that is it, of course, a brush, any comb, and also this thing, um, you need like a, or I use it just for a detangler and a smoother to smooth out hair, and this I do get on lemongrass. And right now it's called, the one I have is called Revitalizing Hair Mist, but they actually changed the name to Leave-In Conditioner. Now, it's the same thing, it's just called Leave-In Conditioner if you wanna check it out. And I'll have the link down below for the lemongrass products. But um, this I use on her hair, because her hair is very fluffy, and, and I use it to detangle and just smooth out her hair when I work with it. So let's get started. Okay, what you wanna do first is just spray her hair with this leave-in conditioner and then brush her hair out. Just brush it all out, get it smooth. Chloe, do you like when I do your hair? It's a little bit because the only thing it's this, it takes so long. Yeah, yep. I, I used to think I'd do a lot more with my girl's hair because I love to do hair, but Ah, oh, sometimes they don't like when I work so long on their hair. So I just let them do ponytails a lot. And sometimes I don't have time either. But if I have the time, I love working with their hair. Okay, now I have it brushed out, nicely brushed out. And that, as you can see, that leave-in conditioner just helps smooth it out. And now I will part the hair. I'm going to part the hair all the way from the front center and all the way back part it in half. And I, I just take a comb like this and I make like a little pathway. And then in the back here, I just part it right there. See that front part? And now I keep going on. I'll actually turn her and I'll keep going on down like this, on down her to her neck. And then I just take my fingers and part it like that. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times just to Clear the way. Okay, now that we have parted it, I'm going to only braid this part. And I'm going to braid, I'm going to do a French braid. Now I'm guessing most of you know how to do French braids, but just turned this way, Chloe, so I can show them. But I'm going to take a little section up here, like just a little section right up here at the beginning. And then you just make three pieces out of this section, three pieces, and then you start braiding. 
go over top like that and then over top like this and just like your normal braid but then when you do it again when you want to take this over you take a little bit of this hair and pull it over with that section and then when you take the top section and put it over you will take some more from the top pieces of your hair and you will bring it over with that section just like that you keep going all the way down her head like that so see i take this piece and i bring it over and i will grab some of the bottom section of hair and i will bring it over with that piece like that and i just keep going all the way down like that I always take some hair whenever I do a piece, whenever I do a piece, I take some hair, some extra hair and bring it with that piece all the way down her head until I am done. So now I will just go a little faster so it won't take so long now that you know how to do it. All right, you can see that I just did like a braid all the way down and then once I had all her hair, I just did a normal braid all the way down and put a little clear rubber band at the end. And then what I sometimes do is just take a little comb and just kind of brush it up a little bit to her braid and it just kind of smooths it out a little bit. And then you can totally leave it like that. I, I often just leave it like this. But for a little extra, what I do is I go and then twist my braid, twist it here to the ear and up and around like a little ball. It's like a little ball like this. And before I'm done twisting it all the way around, I am going to put a little bobby pin right up here in this braid up here and just push it in there so that it holds that twist right there. And then I just keep going on around and I will put another bobby pin under here to hold it there. Then I'll keep going on around and twist it all the way around. and put a little bobby pin in here to hold that piece that I just twisted around. Now, I would actually like to hide this little plastic right here, this little plastic right here. So I'm gonna take this bobby pin out that I had put in there and I'm going to push this plastic, this uh, rubber right underneath and bobby pin, pin it again right over that little rubber band there we go and there's this little piece hanging out so i bobby pin that underneath there too i take hold of the top braid and just push it underneath let's try it again right like that okay see how that looks that is so cute now what i do is just to add to it i put in a little little flower right in there so just like that okay i'm going to quickly fast forward this section and then she'll be done
Okay, she is done. Now, look at this side. Can you turn all the way around for them? Look how cute this looks in the back. See, I didn't get her, her part quite even, but that's okay. It just makes it look cuter. <laughs> I just love that little braid and these little buns here on the side and then those little ribbons. And this stays really well for her. If I braid way on top of here, it stays for quite a couple days for her. So she's good to go. Mm. <laughs> so let me know what you think of this hairstyle. I think it's pretty cute on Chloe. And it's really not that hard to do. It takes a little bit more time because you have to do two French braids, but actually it isn't bad. And just twisting up that little, those braids and making a little bun is not hard at all. So I hope you enjoy this. And next will be Avalon. Okay, now we are ready to do Avalon's hair and she has got long, dark hair, long, smooth, dark hair. And um, you can see already that I parted her hair in the center. So I'm again doing two parts like this. And this time I'm going to do a Dutch braid. And a Dutch braid is exactly like a French braid, except it is braided underneath instead of over top. So, and that is actually a little harder for me. I have to go a little slower because I have to always think, you know, I have to think opposite than what I'm used to. But I'm only going to braid just like all the way down to the nape of her neck. And then I'm going to quit braiding and just put it in a little ponytail. And then I'm going to do it the same on the other side. Just do a French braid. And then I'm going to bring them together and, and put a, like a rubber band back there, a hair band, and then braid the rest of it. And I'll show you what I'll do with that. So let's get started on her hair. Okay, again, first you will just take a top section here and however much you want to start with, it really does not matter. And then I will go and make three pieces out of this one section. And then instead of, like I said, instead of going over top, I will go underneath. And that takes a little bit of concentration for me. Go underneath like that, and then I take this one and go underneath that one. Like that, just like that. You're doing the same thing, but you're just going underneath. And so when I take this section to go underneath, I'll put, take it underneath with this finger, and then I'll grab a section here, and I'll put it with that piece, with that piece right there, and put it underneath. I hope you can understand. You might have to watch some more videos on Dutch braids, but that is how you do it. Now I have a top section here and I'm gonna bring it underneath here and I'm gonna add some hair to that piece. Some of the top section hair here to that piece. It really doesn't matter how much you grab. You just kind of want to keep them, the sections kind of even that you grab. And it gives it a different look. It makes it look like the braid is sitting on top of the head. Okay, now I just grab another piece and I pull it with that, with the piece I had underneath. And now this top one that I have, I place it underneath and I will grab a section of hair here and I will place it with that piece. And now I'm just gonna make it go a little faster and you can see it when I'm done. Now, as you can see, I came all the way down here and got all of the hair on this side. And it looks like the braid is just kind of sitting on top of the head. That's what a Dutch braid is like. And now I'm just gonna quickly grab a rubber band and just tie it right here. Just kind of, you know, not too tight because I'm going to actually tie them together then. And then what I'll do is I'm going to pull out 
the hair just a little bit to give it a loosely, a loose braid look and make them look really big, like the braids are really big. Can you see what I'm doing there? Making them quite a bit larger by just kind of pulling at the ends here. Not the whole piece, just kind of at the ends, pulling them out and making them look quite a bit larger. Okay, there, that's pretty good. It looks quite a bit larger than it had been. All right, now I'm going to do the other side, just the same as this, and I'm just gonna quickly fast forward it, and then we'll go to the next part. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I was videoing and I wasn't videoing. I hate when that happens because you do a lot of stuff and then all of a sudden you realize you weren't even videoing. So I'll tell you just what I did. So I had two braids here that I had, you know, rubber bands in or hair bands. And then I just took both of them together and twisted and I put another rubber band in on top of these bands and then I just pulled these bands out. So I just have one, one ponytail right here. And then I just braided her hair and I pulled out the braid and made it really fluffy. And now what I'm going to do is just twist up the braid like I did for Chloe. And then when you come to this little clear rubber band, you just you can just hide it underneath the rest of it. Like you can pull it underneath and just take a bobby pin and just push it underneath there. Just like that. And then you might still have like a little, you know, a little tail. And you just keep twisting it up and just pinning it underneath the hair like that. And then you're almost done. And then what you will do yet yeah, is just kind of pull out a little bit more. And just even make it looser. Give it, a, give it even more of a looser look. Like it looks like a big fluffy bun that has a lot of twists in it. It doesn't even look like a braid. It just looks like a lot of hard twists, but it's actually not hard. It's easy. Basically just like that. You can see that right there? I'm like, can you turn that way? Just like that. And now, if you want, you can add like a little piece in her hair. I'll see if I have anything. So I have this little clip and you could either just put it to the side of her hair, you could put it on the center, or this side. I'm not quite sure what looks best. I almost feel like you can put it on the center and that looks all symmetrical and nice, um, but sometimes I don't like it to look like that. I think I'll put it to the side. So just something like that. What do you think, Avalon? I think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I usually don't spend as long on her. She starts doing her own hair sometimes, but most of the time it's just the ponytail. <laughs> but she does braid both of the sides of her head every once in a while. She's getting good at doing her own hair. 
but I still like to do it sometimes. So this is, I mean, this would be very pretty for any special occasion to do and even just, you know, for if you want to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this and next we will go and go to McDonald's um, to play. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to go to McDonald's to play, not today. <laughs> We already did the other day. Actually, it wasn't McDonald's, it was Carl's Jr., right? Yeah, <clears throat> but uh, I'll, I'll insert a couple pictures. I'll take a couple pictures of their hair, so close up so that you can see a little bit better. And then after that, I'm gonna do my lemongrass unboxing. I can't wait. There's some products that I really need right now. Now I'm done with the girl's hair, and I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe it gave you some ideas. I hope it did. Um, but I am so excited to open this package. I've been waiting for it. I've actually have gotten it a day or two ago, but I just, I, I couldn't wait to open it, but I thought I, I want to wait until I can unbox it here for you. Um, and those of you who don't know, I am part of a clean skincare and makeup company everything is totally natural and good for your skin and so i just pl had placed an order sometimes i wait too long to place an order and i run out of things so i am so excited for this so i want to show you what i got now anybody who's not interested can just shut off the video right here if you like but i'm going to do the unboxing here <laughs> did you want to see chloe there's a lot of these things in there. I'm gonna dump them out here where you can't see the mess. <laughs> okay, wow. Um, this is what I got and I have never gotten this one before. And so I'm excited to use this. This is, a, it's called Calm and it is a bath soak. I'll hold it up closer so that you can see it. It's a bath soak and it has like dead sea salt and peppermint oil, spearmint, um, vitamin E, different things like this in here. It's vegan, cruelty free. And I'm going to open it for you guys. Wow, it smells so minty and fresh. It's supposed to be calming. You just put some of it in your bath water. I'm gonna see what it says. So it says, after tub is filled to desired level, sprinkle in one to two teaspoons of bath soak into warm water. So, and it's safe for children. It says 10 to up. And um, you actually only have to put in like two teaspoons, one to two teaspoons. So this will last a while. This is like an eight ounce. So I'm excited to use this. So this is something you can find on my link down below. And next, oh, I got this sun-kissed coconut body icing. This is a six ounce. And I have found that the body icings are just so, I just love it. They're so, soft and refreshing on my whole body. Like whenever I take a bath or a shower, I put this, I just rub this all over me and it's just so, makes my skin very soft. <sighs> when I smell it, I think of like tropical weather or like out by the ocean. Hmm. Those of you who like the coconut smell, this is perfect. They have other beautiful, amazing, they have a lot of, uh, fragrances so you can choose any fragrance you want but I wanted to try this one again because I love this kind and next I got this and this is a lightning serum it's anti-aging and for all skin types and it just has a lot of good stuff in it. I'm just going to read a couple like seaweed extract, 
hyaluronic acid, rapeseed extract, it's balm mint, it's yarrow. There's a lot of different things in here. And it says this is targeted, is it's a targeted treatment that combats hyperpigmentation with an active combination of hyaluronic acid and plant-derived lighteners. This serum can reduce discoloration, brighten skin tone, encourage a youthful glow, and improve texture. So you put it on mornings and evenings, and you just have to use a few drops of this thing. So, and I, I do have a few, you know, I think it came from the sun, too much exposure from the sun, just some, um, you know, darker spots on my skin. So I'm just gonna be using that for, that to see if that helps and I ran out of the anti-aging oil serum and I I just I think this makes my face feel the best to have this anti-aging oil serum now I've had a couple customers or maybe it was just one <laughs> that said that it was almost it almost felt too oily for their skin so you want to make sure that your skin isn't already oily if your skin is dry this will be very good for your skin but if you already have somewhat you know oily skin you want to go you want to find another moisturizer for you that's like maybe the coconut rehab cream or the firming face cream something like that would probably work better than this but this, I really, really love this on my face. And it's called the Anti-Aging Oil Serum. And I, then I got the Prebiotic Facial Mist because I'm almost out of that. I still have the Prebiotic Facial Wash, but I always, mornings and evenings, I wash my face with the Prebiotic Facial Wash and then I sp spritz on this mist. I just, this mist just makes my skin Skin feels so good like when I spray it on it just cools everything down and it just feels really good and you can even use this as a finishing spray when you do your makeup but I did also get a set and refresh spray that I use after I finish all my skincare and makeup is done I will spray this set and refresh spray on and I love this stuff so th this is also what I got but like I said, this is kind of a two-in-one. I know people who use just this for, to set their makeup too. So you can do that if you feel like it. Okay, now on to, oh, look at this. I didn't even know this. They gave me this cute little wooden scoop for my bath soap. That is so cool. I love it. I love, they do extra things like that. And I just, it's so wonderful of them. Okay, now next I got the Organic Mascara. I had been using the Sheer Volume, and I still have some, so I thought I would also get just the Organic Mascara because I have heard quite a few people say, I have a, um, my husband's niece already said that she thinks the Organic Mascara has helped her eyelashes grow, actually. Now, they don't claim that at all, that it'll help your eyelashes grow, but Quite a few people I've heard that they said they thought it helped their eyelashes grow. So I wanted to try this one again. It's the Organic Mascara. Okay, now I am close to done. Now it's just a couple more makeup products and I am done. I always just, I'm so excited. It's like Christmas to me. Okay, I was almost out of primer, so I ordered some primer. And this you put on after your skincare and before you start your makeup, before you put your foundation on, you will use primer. So I got me that, and then I got me another liquid foundation because I'm getting a little low and I don't wanna run out. And the color I usually use is in maple. Now I think I could also use pecan uh, in the winter months for sure but I think maple fits me the best and I think it's more of a sheer coverage like my face never looks really covered like I, you can still see the freckles and the moles <laughs> but which I like I don't want to look like I'm completely covered in makeup so but you can build on it you can do one layer and then you can you can do another layer and it covers it a little better if that's what you want so I got this one. Then I saw this. It's an eyeshadow 
and it's in the color suede. And it's like a really dark, I think suede is how you say it. I don't think it's suede. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm known for that. I'm known to say words wrong and then I have to look it up. But it's, I think you can kind of see what color it is, like a dark brown. And I look good in like dark brown eyeshadow. So I got this just to try out, but then I also got the three-in-one eyeshadow palettes. I got two of them. I had these already, but I'm literally running out of them. And I got them when I first started using lemongrass, and that's been over a year ago, and they've lasted that long. And now I just bought me some more. So these stuff, this stuff lasts a long time. So the, the one that I got is the Northern Lights. So it's like a dark, it's like a dark blue, and then like a medium, almost purplish lavender shade, gray, it's like gray lavender purple shade. And then like a very light pinkish lavender shade for the inner corners of your eye. And then the medium shade, you will put kind of all over your eyelid, not right inside here, but more to the middle and to, towards the end. And then the dark shade, you will only use kind of in the, towards the ends of your eye. Now, I don't have any eyeshadow on right now, but if, if I wear some, that's how I do it. And this is in the color Northern Lights. And now this one is in, I think it's called Java Obsession. Yes, and it is a brown shade. But I thought it might be a little bit different color than this, which I think it is. Not too different though. Um, so it's again, like a light shade, a medium shade, and a very dark shade. And I have always liked these two shades. They go well with me, kind of whatever I'm wearing. If I'm wearing more of a cool shade clothing, like if I'm wearing like a, like a, uh, I don't know how you would say it, like a strong blue color, a gray, um, like a real royal type color, then I would often wear this kind of this more smoky blue eyeshadow. And then if I'm wearing warm shades or neutral shades, I will usually wear this, um, this Java Obsession eye palette, just because I like to coordinate everything. I like to try and coordinate everything and just kind of so that everything seems to flow together, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay guys, I hope, or ladies I should say, because I'm sure it's mostly ladies watching, I hope it is. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you really enjoyed this. I am loving my time here in this rental. It's just so much more space and I am starting to enjoy fall, although it was a little hard on me because fall came so quickly here and I almost thought I didn't have enough summer, but I wanna be okay with every change and just flow with it and try and find enjoyment in it. Like lighting a candle and having some fall decor, you know, just around, just to give it a better feeling. Or maybe even go in my kitchen and bake some fall inspired recipes. Like the other day I made like a pumpkin cake with cream cheese icing and yeah, just encourage you to enjoy every season because I'm talking to myself. I'm telling myself to enjoy every season of life. Okay, you all, I bless you and I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you all on the next one.